welcome to another edition of Frederick County Public Library's Virtual Nature Sprouts. And once again, I'm coming to you from the woods. So I thought we would talk about a very special animal today. And I didn't bring the real animal with me, but I brought a puppet of this animal. Does anyone know what this is? So they live in the forests around here. Well, first off, it has two wings, right? And a beak. It's actually what's called a woodpecker. And my, on my way out to the woods today, I didn't see a woodpecker, but I heard a woodpecker. And I didn't hear it calling, but I heard it doing something else. It was on a tree and it was peck, 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 pecking for bugs and insects inside that tree. That's what woodpeckers do. That's why they're named a woodpecker. So woodpeckers are pretty cool birds. Most of them are this kind of black and white color and they might have a little spot of red on their head. Um, and in Maryland, we have quite a few different types of woodpeckers and a lot of them actually come to my feeders, which is neat. I get to see them up close. And today, at the end of this program, we're gonna show you how to make your very own woodpecker food so you can hang it outside and see if you can attract some woodpeckers to, to your yard so you can watch them too, which is pretty cool. So, a neat thing about woodpeckers, they're doing a lot of hammering on wood, right? Peck, 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 they're trying to get into the tree, into usually a dead tree, and they're trying to find bugs to eat. And what's cool about woodpeckers, they have very strong beaks to do that work. But they also have a super long tongue because once they make that hole, they'll stick out that tongue and kind of fish around in those bug burrows looking for them and they'll grab them out and eat them, which is pretty cool. Now, people might wonder if you or I had to bang on a tree like that to get our meal, our heads might start to hurt after a while. Well, the woodpeckers, their heads don't hurt. They have very specially designed skulls. Now, you have a skull. If you touch the top of your head, you feel it's nice and hard, right? It's pretty hard, but not as hard as a woodpecker. A woodpecker has a very special hard and strong skull, so when they're doing that tapping, they don't hurt their brains, which is really cool. Another distinctive feature of a woodpecker is a lot of birds you'll see flying around and they'll land on a branch, right? Well, woodpeckers usually land on tree trunks like this, and you might see them actually walking up the tree trunk, and they are listening for those bugs inside the tree, which is really cool. So today we're gonna to read a neat book about woodpeckers, and then I'm gonna take you on a little exploration around my woods, and we're gonna look for woodpecker holes. Because the cool thing about woodpeckers, they drill holes to get bugs. They also might nest in those holes, but if they make a big hole and they leave it, it's open for other animals, like other birds and even owls to make their nest in those holes in the trees, which is pretty cool. And they help break down the woods and bark and trees in the forest and help it decompose, which is very helpful for the environment. Okay, so are you guys ready for our book? This is called Woodpecker Wham, and it's by April Pulley Sayre. And we want to thank this publisher for giving us permission to read this book. So, Woodpecker Wham. Swoop and land, hitch and hop. Shred a tree stump, chop, chop, chop. And that's called a pileated woodpecker. And we have these in our woods. Instant message, tap one, two. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Now back to you. Early insects, click and crawl, flick and flake, and find them all. So there they are looking for those bugs. Spring sap rises, who will drill? Sap, sap, sap sucker, sap sucker a sticky bill. That's a tongue twister. Fan those feathers. Shower clean, sunbathe dry, then oil and cream. Birds like to do that. Raise that 
crest, bob and bow, flash those wings, it's time to wow. Start a home, bill to bark. Dig it, dig it, deep and dark. Cool. Wedge it, sledge it, wham by wham, clear those tips, slam, slam, slam. Sometimes it sounds like they're building something. They're hitting those trees so hard. Hawks are hunting, oh no, stop, drop, hide, quiet, on the other side. So sometimes they have to watch out for predators like a hawk. Cherries, berries, pluck and feed, leave a dropping full of seed. Tap, 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 where, look and see. Crick, crick, crack, six chicks break free. Look at baby woodpeckers. Hungry mouse and begging calls. Hunt, hop, pick, quick. Feed them all. That's a lot of work for a mama woodpecker. Fledglings fly. Oops, fledglings flop. Chase and feed. When will it stop? Fluffy, fluffy fledglings now are grown. Wicca, wicca on their own. Fall is falling, acorns plunk, prize seeds, pull seeds, fill a trunk. So they eat seeds too. Leave that tree hole, start one new. Who will move in after you? What do you guys think might move into that hole? I think an owl. Build to bark, build, slam, slam, slam. Chip and chop, woodpecker, wham. And that's the end. Okay, that was really cool. So next up, I'm gonna take you on a little um, excursion in the woods and we're gonna find some holes that woodpeckers have made and even some logs that have fallen on the ground and they've chipped away the bark and ha are starting to eat the insects out of the dead wood. So that'll be cool. And at the very end, we'll show you how to make your very own woodpecker food that you can hang up in your backyard. See you soon. Okay, guys, now we're going on our scavenger hunt for woodpecker holes. And look what I found right next to the spot where I was reading that book. It's a woodpecker hole. And then I kind of moved up this tree branch a little bit. And then I found this big hole. Now that big hole makes me think maybe that was a pileated woodpecker, which is what the biggest woodpecker we have in Maryland. And look, here's another woodpecker hole. All right, off to find some more. Okay, I found another dead log that has fallen in the woods. And look at these giant holes all over it. I think there's been a bunch of woodpeckers working on this log. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find a tree that's still standing next with some holes in it too. All right, so I saved the best for last. Look at this tree. We're gonna go all the way up and see if you can spot all the woodpecker holes in it. Look at how many. And what's really neat, at the very top of this tree, there's a big hole and we've been watching over the years different birds nesting in it and raising their babies, which is really cool. So animals are making use of those woodpecker holes. Okay guys, we're back in my kitchen and we're gonna get ready to make our own woodpecker food, which is called suet. So what you're gonna need for your dry ingredients is three and a half cups of bird seed. Now, of course, you can make this recipe, you can have it or quarter it, um, and you will need a grown-up's help for this because it does involve use, using the stove for one of the parts of the recipe. So I'm gonna take my three and a half cups of bird seed, I'm gonna dump it into this bowl. And the next ingredient is one cup of quick oats. So I'm gonna dump that in too. And then the third dry ingredient is a half a cup of cornmeal. So I'm gonna dump that into my bowl next. And then I'm gonna stir it around. And the next step is um, a step that you're gonna want your grown-ups help with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it and 
and the next shot you're going to see is me pouring in the last two ingredients into the suet mixture. So on the stove, you're going to take three-fourths of a cup of any kind of nut butter. It could be almond butter, it could be peanut butter. I have peanut butter here. And then you're going to do one and a half cups of shortening, like something like Crisco, and I have the bars. And so I'm going to do one and a half cups, and you're going to melt it and t together until it's kind of a smooth liquid. And once you're done with that, we'll come back from the video and I'm going to pour it into our suet um, mixture and we're going to see, mix it up. All right. Okay, we're back. And so I've melted my shortening and my peanut butter together and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the dry ingredients that we've already mixed up. nice and solid and then you can hang it outside and not only will this attract woodpeckers it'll attract other kinds of birds to your backyard which is pretty cool thanks so much for joining us today i hope you learned a little bit about woodpeckers and what they like to eat and hopefully you can make some of your own woodpecker food at home we'll see you next time bye